Hey, yo, kid, you want some AI denoising? And maybe some, you know, adaptive sampling? And, you know, maybe some ray bound stuff? I don't know, might help. Just follow me, man. If you want to, follow me, follow me. Oh, still here? Uh, well, I guess you want to know more. Let me show you how to use that adaptive sampling. Uh, well, uh, with the default scene. Oh, the default scene? Uh, well, just do this, this, and this. After Making a big Okay, well... Yep, almost 30 seconds. Did you catch that, though? Yep, uh, those are some small buckets, which means GPU and CPU rendering at the same time. Why? Well, that's a dumb question. Well, not really. That's the fault of uh, the way adaptive sampling works. Then it looks for the right amount of samples, which means not a lot of noise in a bucket. So if you've got a sky, which needs one sample and two at most, and a ground, which needs a thousand or so, you'll render the sky with a thousand samples as well and waste a lot of time on it. So all of our GPUs are gonna be sad boys for the day. Talking about GPUs, you can get up to 23% more performance if you watch this video up there right now. Limited time only. Watch before you die. So, 30 seconds without adaptive sampling, and with it, 6.92. There are two settings in there. Take a screenshot of them and save it to the desktop. Make it your wallpaper and say goodbye. Because our wonderful adaptive sampling got no load left anymore. But before we become an adult by doing something responsible like rebudgeting, we have to talk about those AI denoised ass cheeks up in here. AI denoising. So, we got Intel, too long for me to read, aka why you're trying to make 3D animations anyway. And Optics Gang, press F for Mac. Mac Hamburger. Rip, we never liked you. Not that we like the way you changed without a legacy persistence. Now go, go sit behind that Optiplex GX240. So, uh, so Intel denoising is better than Optics. But it takes ages to compute on your CPU, in which you could render more samples and denoise them with optics and get a better looking image because you rendered more light. And don't forget to go here and set it to this. Let's be a bit less childish by doing some budgeting with rays. Basically, you render over and over and over again and increase the number individually here, till you don't see a change in the image. Yo, comrade! Yes, yes. Привет. More number high, more bounce one for one ray light your half. Sir bounce these, one bounce these, one to eight, 128 bounce these. Da da. Comrade over. Oh, thank you, thank you. Da da, no problem. So. If you liked this video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Comment down below why you didn't like it, why you did like it. And if you loved it, sub to my channel and ring the bell to never miss an upload of mine. Goodbye. Da da, goodbye. Russian out.